Hey everybody, Spoops here, back at it again. Um, I say that a lot, and I wish that I didn't, but it just comes out, and it's a, it's a shame. <sighs> um, but hey, last episode we figured out some terrible shit about the three peeps. Well, no use carrying around these anymore. Goodbye, sheet music. Oh, that didn't go very far. Oh. Well, what the hell was that? Sounds like it came from the art room. Alright. Also, I'm not gonna talk that much about my life. Cause, you know... This shit needs to get done. We gotta finish this shit. Wait, what was that? I think I can see into the room below, but it's too dark to make out any details. Maybe I could try getting down there somehow. Well, we got a rope. We got an anchor. Let's anchor the rope. This statue looks pretty sturdy. I wonder. We're gonna use the rope, girl. <laughs> It looks spooky. Now I just have to actually climb down this thing. <sighs> Get down there. <sighs> Looks like I wound up in the resource room. Given the way things have gone so far, I should probably look around a bit before climbing back up. Books are too damaged. Looks are too damaged. The only thing to look at is this a relatively pristine looking envelope lands on the ground. What is this? A letter? Doesn't look like it's addressed to anyone. I wonder if I should take it. Yeah, take it. We're gonna read it. Before we read it, oh, it's got a save. Sealed with the thing. I've got a bad feeling about this letter. Maybe I'd better open it and make sure what's inside. Might as well. You open the letter. No peeking. Uh huh? Oh, damn it. My eyes are stinging like crazy right now. Is his eyes bleeding? God, oh my god, they're burning! They're... Oh, yeah, it's a good thing I saved. Look, the rope's still there. <laughs> Alright, awesome. Not an interesting letter. What was the point of that? <sighs> oh, Kyle, you just couldn't help yourself, could you? Opening up somebody's mail without permission? Surely your mother taught you better manners than that. In case you couldn't tell, that letter wasn't meant for you. I know, sad, isn't it? I never used to get any letters either. In any case, I'd try to figure out who it belongs to if I were you. They're probably missing it very dearly. And I trust you won't stick your nose where it belongs again. doesn't belong again, hmm? Hey, girl. Why... Why did I ever bother to dream anyway? I should have known. It was a lie all along. No one... No one could ever love someone like me. What? Don't say that. If you keep bringing yourself down, your dreams will never come true. You've got to believe in yourself. When we get out of here, shut up! I can't scream. <laughs> what do you know, Kyle Mason? You're popular. You're normal. You know what it's like to be loved. I'm sick of it. I'm sick and tired of believing in something that will never come true. I'll live alone. I'll die alone. And there's nothing that you or me or anyone else can do about it. I'm... I'm sorry. I was only trying to help. No. I'm sorry. I wish I could believe you. But I can't. I just can't anymore. 
just forget about me. Please. She's right. I don't understand. How could anyone feel so... hopeless? There has to be something I can do to help her. Oh. Do I... Do I... Give her the order? Uh... It's not much, but maybe... Maybe this was meant for you all along. Oh. What's... This? This is... Kyle... Thank you. I've... I've always wanted to read a letter like this. Well... Now you've gotten the chance. You see, there, there's always hope. Someday, somewhere, you'll meet the one. I'm sure of it. I... I wish I could say the same, but... It's... It's too late for me now. Wait. What are you talking about? Don't you understand? I've already let my hope run dry. There's nothing left to believe in. My dreams died a long time ago, and in a way, so did I. Huh? N no! Uh, wait, just listen to me! Thank you, Kyle. You tried so hard to help me, and for that, I'll always be grateful. But what's done is done. I can't take back the choice I've made. N no! No, 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 don't! Don't you dare do it! It never gets any easier watching someone die. Another girl who needed my help. Another girl I couldn't save. But in this moment, I'm beginning to understand just who this girl really was. A girl who chose not to be helped. A girl who chose destruction instead. God damn it. Uh, it's open? No, I've got to keep moving. It's the only way I'm ever going to end this. It's too late to save anyone, but it isn't too late to put a stop to all this death. Oh. Yeah. Um. I'm going to not do that. I mean, I will. But I... Is it this room? No. I want to check the computer room. Yeah. Where the fuck do you find the... Oh shit. <laughs> this is a table. Give me that CD ROM! Hey, never know when I might need it, especially in this crazy world. Maybe I can find a working computer and see what's on it. What a surprise! Because right here, it's a working computer! Wouldn't you know it? That's not gonna work. <laughs> You place the CD-ROM in the drive! Administration access granted. Now we're getting somewhere. All I need to do is run this command and... 
No printing for Kyle. Ah. Bless. It's dead. Shut down all by itself. Well, never mind that. I needed to go see what I just printed. Several pages have spilled from the printer tray onto the floor. Let's see what that document says. Once upon a time, I cherished my dream. Once upon a time, I chased it. Then one day, I knew that it could never be, so I took a knife and I murdered it. First, I pierced the right hand, pinning it so that it could never escape me. Then I pierced the left, for all of its insult and slight to me. When I cut away its scalp, there was no turning back from what I'd done. So then I gouged down its eyes, blinding it to what I'd become. Then I slit its throat and kissed it goodnight. Farewell, my dream, you who awoke the monster inside of me. Uh, okay. What the hell is this supposed to be? Some kind of morbid love poem? Or maybe it's the opposite. Maybe it's supposed to be a threat. Yeah, might as well take it with me. As much as I'd like to get rid of this, she obviously wanted me to have it for a reason. Alright, so here I am. Save. Open the door, get on the floor. Can I... Is she flush herself down the toilet? What is this supposed to be? It looks like a bunch of Latin words in a man? Guess I'm gonna have to figure this one way out, out or another. Fuck. There's a numerical dial at the base of this tablet. No, because I'm thinking. Can I keep looking at it? Let's see. There's one dot. Two dot. Five dot. Three dot. Four dot. Oh. It's like the, the fucking... The poem, right? Because they were saying... They did hands. They did. They stabbed themselves in the eye and shit. So it's a uh, four, one, two, three. What? No, that one's three. Yeah. Yeah. Did it work? Oh. <laughs> Alright. Awesome. The wall opened up. But to where? Guess I've got no choice but to find out. Save always. Save often. God dang. Alright. Go in. Oh, I have to click on it. <laughs> There's some stairs. <sighs> oh my god. Okay. Um. Might as well. Oh, okay. So I can just leave. What? What the fuck are these things for? Wait, what? Oh, there we 
There you go. Okay. barely make out a passage in the wall. Oh, it, th it's a wall. I'm in a bedroom. Okay. It's a lot of fiction novels with some girly manga thrown in the mix. There's also some Harlequin romance books tucked away in a corner. A wheelchair. Okay. A vanity. Strangely enough, there doesn't seem to be much makeup on it. Chest of drawers. I need to look inside. Yeah, let's turn that light on, bruh. Simple white dress, freshly pressed and hung with care. Chest for trinkets, look like it's locked. Cuckoo clock, looks like an heirloom. Photo of a middle-aged woman with a tender smile. Computer, it's turned off right now. Diary bound in black leather, leather with only one word on its cover. Reve reven revenge. <laughs> it's revenge. <laughs> revenge. This is what it all leads up to. It's about time you told me the truth, Dolores. About what really happened to us on prom night. After the hell you put me through, that's the least you owe me. Yeah, boo, I saved. We good. Oh, what? Oh, I can't... Oh, that's the... Okay. Prom night. A night of magic, music, and revel revelry. I can never read that word. A night of first loves, first dances, first kisses. A night when all of my dreams of love would finally come true. Dreams I had tried hard, I had tried to believe in with all of my heart. But it was a lie. It was all a cruel, cruel lie. I was never a fairy tale maiden destined for a happy ending. In the end, I was always an Ophelia. But I couldn't accept that. No. I can never accept that. If I was going to be denied my dream like this... then I would destroy theirs in kind. You see, there's another side to this melodramatic sob story I've neglected to tell you about. A secret my family has carried in their veins since the time... since time immo immemorial. But Their off name is simply not one of wealth and fame. It is a name synonymous with occult power few can even begin to describe. In fact, it was this very power that allowed my great-grandfather to amass his wealth in the first place. And it was our ancestral treasure, Educae Sanguinis, that taught him how. I remember it well. 
an old book amongst my mother's belongings, a page covered in Latin text and my great-grandfather's translation scrawled in the margins. The favor of the Demon King can only be won with blood. Whoever seeks wealth and power in this world must sacrifice an offering. For this purpose, the blood of another will suffice. However, he who seeks ultimate power must in turn make the ultimate sacrifice himself. Those who offer their bodies to Malak will receive greatest the, will receive greatest favor, and they shall be as a god reigning over reality itself. <laughs> That's right. I would be better off dead, wouldn't I? But I won't go alone, Brooke. Auntie. Everyone. I'm taking you all with me. broken bottle was all I needed. The rest would be taken care of by the magic in my blood and the hatred in my heart. Even the searing pain of glass slicing across my skin wouldn't stop me from what I was about to do. I wonder if this will really work. If it doesn't, then I guess I'll be free from all this hell, at least. But if it does... Malik, mighty king of demons, you who served my ancestors in exchange for blood, accept this offering of flesh and grant me strength. Renew once more the pact between the Roth clan and the powers in hell, of hell, oh fuck. In the name of my broken dream, I beseech you, make them pay for all they've done. It's like, okay, now I'm good. LOL. Hashtag. Twitter. Huh? <laughs> She's dead now. Ignore her, but you're Oh, I was like, who that? <laughs> it... It worked. <laughs> Looks like you finally got what you wanted, Brooke. I never cared much for the mortal plane anyway. Good riddance. With this new power... I'll be unstoppable. Finally, it's my turn to make somebody suffer. I know just who to start with. Is it Auntie? Get dunked on, Auntie. Honestly, Dolores, you're too stubborn for your own good. Should have never let her go to prom in the first place. Tea and parties are too salacious for days for a for. But I did anyway, and now. I'm home, Auntie. There you are. You had me worried sick. Why in the world wouldn't you answer your phone? I must have called a dozen times. Oh, sorry. I must not have heard it over the music. But I'm okay. Don't worry. I even got a friend to bring me back. Would you like to meet her? Pleased to meet you, Mrs. Roth. My name is Claire. I truly hope you don't mind me driving your niece home. Uh... Well... Thank you for taking such good care of her, Claire. Although I would have appreciated a call beforehand. Oh, of course! We're terribly sorry, ma'am. We were simply having too much fun and the thoughts slipped our minds. Honestly, Auntie, you worry too much. But I have to wonder. Is it really me you're worried about, or is it my money? What? 
What? Sweetheart, what are you talking about? Of course I I'm talking about how you've been wasting all mom's money. The money she'd intended for me. You really thought I wouldn't notice that influx of expensive je jewelry and vintage wine bottles or your hot dates with younger men. The sugar mama lifestyle really doesn't suit you, auntie. Especially when it's on my dead mother's dime. Ah, how, how dare you? I've done no such thing with your inheritance and you know it. We're family. It's my job as your guard guardian, as your aunt, to worry about you. And it's also your job to keep me locked away in a cage my whole life? To treat me like a child? You never let me help myself. You never let me chase my dreams. I bet it's a hell of a lot easier to keep your cash cow under control when she's stuck in a wheelchair, isn't it? Dolores! I'm through being used by you. I'm through being coddled by you. For two years I've put up with you, and now you're gonna pay for all of it! What? What are you? Del Dolores! Dolores, get back! She's kind of nice! Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> She's kind of nice. Oh, I know she does. I'm the one that gave it to her, after all. I... 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 No! You, you can't! So you are finally getting it. Not that I blame you for being surprised. You always did think I was helpless. But you can consider this an opportunity to reflect on how wrong you've been about me. Go on. I'll wait. Dolores, I... I... I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I know I haven't been good to you, and I've never once considered your feelings, but that can all change. I, I can be better. I can take care of you the way your mother wanted me to. For God's sake, stop this, please. Just like you to backpedal when you realize you're in trouble. I'm afraid there's nothing you can do to change my mind. I've already made the ultimate sacrifice to get this chance. And I will not waste it listening to your fake apologies. N no Stay away. Stay away from me. That face of hers makes me sick. Get rid of it for me, Claire. Pleasure, mistress. No! No! It's me when I get called into work early. to say hi to mom, but I've got a feeling you won't end up in the same place as her. <laughs> that felt incredible. Even in my new form, I couldn't have swung that axe myself, but doing it through a proxy is the next best thing, I suppose. I wonder if I consecrate this woman to Moloch. Will I become even stronger? If I may, mistress. She did scream rather loudly. Even with the size of your manners, someone may have heard her. Perhaps we ought to leave before the authorities come? <laughs> the cops? What can they possibly do to me now? You can't arrest someone who's already dead! <sighs> but regardless, you're right. We should lead soon if we want to catch the others. The after party is being held at Brooke's house and it's not going to last forever. Especially once I'm through here. Hey, thanks again for inviting me over, Brooke. I had a great time with everyone. Oh, it's no problem at all. I've been holding after parties here since my freshman year. You could say it's a tradition of sorts. Jeez, Mila and Maggie sure are quiet. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about them, Kyle. They're probably just tuckered out from all the excitement. I... I can't. I can't do this anymore. 
I can't keep lying to people like this. Huh? Neela, shut up! Are you out of your mind? Maggie, you know this is wrong. We should have never agreed to any of this. Because of us, Dolores. Neela, if you know what's good for you, you won't say another word. Brooke? You guys, what's going on? Is there something you're not telling me? It's nothing you need to be concerned with, Carla. It's got nothing to do with you. Give it up, Brooke. There's no use hiding it from him anymore. <sighs> Damn it. Neela's right. We should never have agreed to help you. What if Dolores did something stupid because of what we did? You think you could really keep a clean conscience about it? You! Uh, Brooke, you'd better tell me what the hell is going on here. What did you do to... Huh? The lights went out. But there wasn't supposed to be a storm tonight, was there? What the? What, what's happening? Fools. Liars. Killers. All of you. The voice. But how? My, my head. Help. Oh. Do you like my illusion? Help. Help. Someone help us. You all did this to me. You stole away the one thing most precious to me. I'll make you suffer for your crimes over and over and over again. And when I'm finished, I'll send you all to hell where you belong. It was a beautiful kind of revenge that could have only been realized by the power of a demon. A cycle of pain and torment for repeating endlessly until the last drop of blood is spilled. It was a way to take their lives the way they took my dreams. And most importantly, it was a way to teach you a lesson. You poor f you poor fool, you heartbreaker. Perhaps now you more clearly see the damage you've done. And perhaps now, you'll think twice before denying a maiden in love. <laughs> but like, he legitimate didn't know though. So that... that's what happened. It all makes sense now. She sacrificed everyone, even herself. With each sacrifice, she grew more powerful, and in the end... It was all because she had her heart broken. Because her dreams didn't turn out the way she wanted them to. But what she doesn't realize is... We all have our hearts broken sometimes. We all have to watch our dreams die at some point. But that's not an excuse to kill. That's never an excuse. She could have chosen to hold on, to live, to seek help. But instead she chose to become a monster and I... I won't rest until she stopped her killing for good. It's got the chest, right? For the ghosty? What was that? It sounds like the chest unlocked by itself. Oh, I actually should have saved before I did that. The chest is full of several small mementos, a stuffed toy, a woman's wedding ring, photographs, and a page of a poem, poem laying at the very top. I beg of you, daughter, do not let the dark win. Reclaim your light and let love back in. Despite of all of this bloodshed, I love you no less. My blessed little blossom, my beautiful divorce. Is for her the, the whole time, for Dolores, but how? I thought her mother was behind you? What? Who? Who are you? Yeah, I guess that's the mom. So you are the one. The one? 
The one who what? I'll explain everything in time. Meet me in the chapel. I'll open the seal for you. But you must hurry. Her power grows stronger every second. Who? Never mind that for now. If she can help me stop Dolores... I've got to get back to the chapel. That woman may be the only hope that I got. Now is a great time to save! <sighs> I just got a feeling. I got a feeling. I've come this far. I've played your sick games. I've solved all your stupid riddles. I know what really happened now. You told me your story just like you wanted to. I've done my part. I'm through going by your rules, so now... I'm coming to stop you once and for all. Is he, though? With that spooky background music? Figures. Did she say something or not? Nah? You... Serena... No. You're just like everything else in this world. You're her creation. Just another twisted way for her to try and mess with my head. There's no way. There's no way you could be the real Serena. How stupid do you think I am, Dolores? It's not Serena. I'm not falling for your goddamn mind games. Do you hear me? <coughs> Shit. There's no way I can fight off something like this. I've gotta run. Yeah, save my game, bruh. Right? Looks like my mind games are affecting you more than you want to admit. Did you really think I'd be through with you once you learned the truth? That I let you get away with your crimes so easily? Clearly you haven't learned your lesson yet. If you truly want to see this through to the end, you'll have to walk a long and bloody path, or better yet, run. Although I've quite grown to enjoy watching you die horribly and painfully over and over and over again. So perhaps I'll just have dear Serena keep tearing you to shreds and then I, when I grow tired of that, send you straight to hell where you belong. Oh. Oh, okay. He just went that way on his own. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Oh, are you okay or nah? <laughs> Is that or nah? <laughs> what was that? The tunnel caved in. It it looks like I'm safe, but You fool, 
there is no stopping me now. Okay, great. <laughs> you fool, there's no stopping me. I just read that. Yes, thank you. Just you watch me, witch. Alright. Um Let's head out. Excuse me. Past the toilet that you flushed yourself down. Oh, you you can't run from me forever? From her forever. Find me, find me, find me. I believe congratulations are in order, Kyle. Not many in your place would have kept so steadfast in their quest for the truth. Huh? Claire. What do you want? Can't you see I'm in the middle of something right now? Actually, no, I take it back. This isn't about what you want, is it? Of course not. Want is a concept beyond my understanding. Of the hopes, dreams, and feelings that make humans who they are, I experience none of them. I exist for one purpose, and one purpose only. To carry out the will of my mistress, whatever that may be. Claire, if you're not human, what are you exactly? Beings like me go by many names. You could call me a servant or a proxy. In the old days, we were called familiars. We are the products of contracts between a practitioner of magic and the forces of hell. We live and die according to the will of our masters. So you really have no will of your own, then? Doesn't that bother you? Knowing you'll never be anything more than a, a slave? <laughs> of course not. How can I long for something when I'm incapable of desire in the first place? Does the tool feel resentful for not being used by its wielder? Of course it doesn't. It simply is what it is. I see. But if what you're saying is true, then you're not just a tool, Claire. You're a weapon. Dolores created you for the sole purpose of killing others. You may not ultimately be to blame, but that doesn't make you any less dangerous. If you try to stop me... Oh, don't worry. I have no intention of stopping you. I'm still under strict orders to let you live. However, I would like to take the time to correct a misconception on your part. I wasn't always meant to be a weapon, you see. What are you talking about? Well, before her pact with Malak, Dolores was a completely different person. Though I'm sure you knew that already. In the beginning, I wasn't intended to be a killer. I was intended to be... a friend. My mistress always had the potential to become a great and powerful sorceress. She began dabbling in magic shortly after the death of her mother. She began with simple spells, requiring nothing more than a spoonful of her own blood, and it was one of these spells that gave birth to me. Claire, can I ask you something? Of course, mistress, anything at all. Do you consider me your friend? Do you wish me to, mistress? If so, then yes, I consider you a very good friend. That's not what I'm talking about. Forget what I want. Do you, personally, think of me as a friend? Or are you just obligated to act like it since I created you? My apologies, mistress. I'm afraid the answer to that question isn't the one you're hoping for. That was all I needed to know. You can leave now. As you wish. The one thing my mistress expected from me, I could never provide. True friendship and affection is something even the most powerful of my kind cannot give. After that day, she stopped summoning me. Perhaps she preferred loneliness to the arf artificiality of my companionship. I was beginning to think that, having failed in my purpose, I would no longer be needed. Until...
O spirit of obedience, O faithful familiar, by the pact of blood formed by our no giver of servants. Oh shit, I call upon you, I guess, is what it might have said. What is it you wish of me, mistress? Claire, it's been a while, hasn't it? Indeed. I sense that you've become quite powerful since last we met. Unnaturally so, even. I'll explain everything later, for now, I need your help. I've been lied to, I've been stolen from, and now, I want my revenge. Understood, mistress. I knew she had changed. The despair in my- despair- the despair in my mistress' heart had fully transformed into seething hatred. It was no wonder she had become so powerful, harboring such intense emotions. But it wasn't my place, nor my desire, to question her motives. All I was to do, all I'm ever to do, is obey her every command. Kyle, if there's one thing you must know about Dolores, know this. This curse was not a result of some innate evil in her heart. This bloodshed, it wasn't supposed to happen at all. Her true self is that of a dreamer, not a killer, but ultimately, circumstances guided her down a much darker path than she ever intended. You know that, and yet you still allowed her to kill. Yes, I did. It is as I said. My only function is to obey, never question. And that's even assuming that I wanted to. I regret nothing about all of this. I finally fulfilled my task my mistress set for me. And really, that's all I ever cared about. Uh huh? Worry not, Kyle. This knife is meant for me. Now that Dolores has a master power, she will no longer require my services. When that happens, it is our duty to destroy ourselves. If anything, you ought to be happy. I did kill the ones you tried to protect, after all. I can never feel happy watching someone die. I've... I've seen too much death already. You have a good heart, Kyle. Perhaps if Dolores had someone like you in her life, things would have turned out differently. You may cover your eyes for this. I won't mind. She didn't even leave a corpse behind. Existing only to be used and thrown away. What a sad way to live. Only a pool of blood is left where Claire once stood. Something dark glimmers within it. Another key. This one's different from the others. No doubt it'll lead straight to her. The trail leads towards the gem. That's where she'll be waiting for me. That's where I'm gonna end all of this. That is where you are gonna end all of this. However, friend, I gotta go to the church. Excuse, excuse. Looks like the seal is gone. That woman, I hope she can help me. She's the only lead I've got towards defeating Dolores. Yeah, we going in, bruh. <sighs> so you came after all. You've taken a great risk putting your trust in a stranger's word, especially in this place. For that, you have my gratitude. I don't think I had much of a choice. I thought I was alone here, but you... You know something, don't you? I do. And what I know could mean the difference between life and death for you and perhaps countless others. Then tell me, please. It may be the only chance I have to stop all of this. Kyle, 
Mason. I've been watching you from the very beginning, but my presence was too weak for you to perceive. There isn't enough I could do to ease the suffering you've endured, to bring back the people you've lost. The only thing I can offer now is hope. She naked! Oh. My name is Eleanor. Eleanor Roth. Eleanor? Roth? Then that means you're- Yes. Dolores is my daughter. But wait, you were supposed to have died years ago. Indeed. But you've already seen with your own eyes what the power of the Demon King can do for those who offer themselves to them. Uh, no way! Don't tell me! You made the same pact Dolores did! You know you can't just tell me something like that and expect me to still trust you. That demon helped your daughter kill people, people who are important to me. I understand your wariness, but I swear to you that I mean no harm. Our powers may come from the same source, the same ritual, but Mullet cares not what a human does with his power. Whether one wishes to slaughter innocents or save them, it doesn't matter to him, so long as he receives his offering. Then, what did you do with it? Why would someone like you need to form a pact with Moloch? Perhaps I should start from the beginning. It was the day Dolores' father left us that I truly realized what kind of world she'd been born into. Before we realized her condition, he had been a loving man, a, a dreamer even. But a special needs child was never a part of his dream that I could never forgive him. And most of all, I never wanted Dolores to carry the burden of his selfishness. Dolores? Sweetie, is something the matter? Studies have shown that families of a child with disabilities experience higher rates of stress than families with typical children. Mothers offer report greater levels of depression, while fathers report distancing themselves from their families to cope. Did you know that, Mom? Dolores, where did you hear that? I read it in a book on mobility disorders. Mom, that's why Dad left us, isn't it? Because I turned out this way? I want you to listen to me. Your father leaving was not your fault. He was... He was a selfish, narrow-minded man who has no idea what he's missing. Mom. You, my love, are as radiant as a flower as they come. Radiant a flower as they come. Fuck you. <laughs> That's her talking to her child. Fuck you. I can't speak. Fuck you. You're smart, kind, creative, beautiful. What your father may have thought of you won't change that. No one can change that. Even if the rest of the world can only see your differences, in my eyes, you'll always be my perfect baby girl. Mom, thanks. I don't know what I'd do without you. Oh, sweetie, you don't have to think about that for a very long time. I love you, Dolores. I love you so, so much. Dolores is bright. Brighter than many gave her credit for. Despite all of my efforts to shield her from the ignorance and hatefulness of others, to build her up when others would tear her down, she knew full well the consequences of being different. That was why when my diagnosis came, I began to truly worry for my daughter's future. I was already at stage four. There was little to no hope left for me, but if I were to die, what would become of her? Many of her other relatives, including my brother, had already, had already passed away. The only person left to take care of her would be my sister-in-law, and I never had that much in the way of trust in her. Even with all of our family's fortune in her hand, Dolores would still be alone in a world that didn't fully accept her. In desperation, I turned to the grimoire. Magic case of Gwyneth, I don't fucking that had belonged to my grandfather. I was already at death's door, but I would not 
let my past and go to waste. If I could attain the powers promised by the Demon King, then perhaps I could protect my dollar, daughter. Protect, protect my daughter. Me daughter. In my new form, I watched over Dolores. I tried to comfort her in times of her need, though she could never consciously feel my presence. But as her grief turned into loneliness, as her despair turned into hatred, she closed off her heart to me. No, this, this can't be. Why, why couldn't I stop this? Why isn't my magic working? Dolores, my baby, what have you done? What have you done? Didn't she like appear in her place where she's standing? That night, my worst fears were realized. Dolores' darkness had consumed her. A heart full of life, of hope, of dreams poisoned by bitterness and hatred. And from that hatred, she created a world filled with nothing but hate or from death and suffering. In this world, I have very little power of my own. My daughter has denied all love, all hope, and in doing so, she denies me as well. All I could do is leave pieces of myself as proof of my presence, in the hope that someone with a kind heart would find them. Hold on, you don't mean these poems, do you? That's precisely what I mean. Through your kind deeds, as small as they may have been, you were able to bring just enough light to this world to make my presence known. You've exceeded all of my expectations in my regard, Kyle. Thank you. Well, you're welcome, I guess, but how is this gonna help me stop her? How can I keep her from hurting anyone else? I'm gonna be honest with you. As it stands now, there is no way to stop her. Dolores reigns as a god in this world. No spell or weapon could possibly defeat her. She's rewritten the very laws of reality to her advantage. The only way to stop her is to save her very soul from the darkness that corrupts it. Save her? How could you possibly ask me to save her after everything she's done to me? I- Kyle, as her mother, I could never excuse the things that she's done to you. But you must understand, this is our only chance to end this nightmare. If we don't take it, all the blood of her future victims will be on our hands. And despite everything, she is my daughter. It's my duty to do everything in my power to help her. Please, I'm begging you. Help me save your world from Dolores, and help me save her from herself. You're right. I... I can't let my hate in the way of doing the right thing. If I did, I'd be making the same mistake as Dolores. Kyle, thank you. I am forever in your debt. This poem... I wrote it especially for Dolores... To... For Dolores to remind her that I am with her and always have been. Perhaps if you, the boy she still holds some yearning for, can show it to her, I could finally show myself in her presence. I claim no guarantee that it will work, but if Dolores has even a shred of humanity left in her, it's our only hope. Now go, Kyle. Time is of the essence. Save her now before it's too late. Eleanor, I can't imagine how pain painful this must be for you to watch your own daughter do such horrible things. I'll do my part to end this. For Neela, Maggie, and Brooke, and for you too. I won't let any of you down. You might though, because I'm like hella tired. It's like getting late. <laughs> but I really want to finish this game. I also just want to let you know that uh, these last three or... Yeah, these last three episodes... I'm playing in one setting. I just didn't want these videos to be 80 years long. It's my life. This is where I'm at now. This is what I do on my days off. This key is shaped like an X. Oh, I guess I gotta open the door. Dolores is waiting for me. From me. Fuck! I'm so tired. 
Dolores is waiting for me behind this gate. Once I go in, she's not gonna let me back out. For that, I'm certain. I gotta, I gotta save 80 other times. Goodness, okay. It still looks really good. All right, Doris. You want me? You've got me. You told me to come and face you. Now show yourself, damn it. Do you hear me? Quit fucking around. The breathy chick. Back at it again with fake Serena. No. No, no, no. Why do you keep doing this, Dolores? What did Serena ever do to you? Your grudge is with me, isn't it? For God's sake, leave her out of this! I still don't 100% understand why she, she just die in an accident or not. Oh fuck. She's... No. That thing is gonna kill me. I've gotta... Think of something fast. Oh, save. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I made of plastic. A glass bottle. I can use this. Oh, yeah, sure. You've got a broken bottle. Maybe now I'll stand a finding chance. Oh, she's running. We'll face off in the center of the circle. Now's my chance. It may look like Serena, but do I have any other choice? If we get a ga game over, I can just fucking... We just saved. I know where the thing is now. I... Oh, did you drop the bottle? I... I can't. I know you're not really Serena. I know you're nothing more than Dolores' sick creation, but... I'm tired of it. I'm tired of all this death, all this bloodshed. How could I bring myself to kill anyone after this things I've seen? Are you gonna hug her? Don't fucking do that. But more than that, I'm tired of the guilt. That terrible pain in my chest every time I thought about her. The way that I tried so hard to move on but never could. Killing you wouldn't make that go away. It would only make things worse. In a way... It would be like hurting her all over again. Oh, what? Oh, is this what happened? She was only supposed to be gone for the weekend. She was with her friends. I thought she'd be safe. They were all badly injured in the accident, but not like Serena was. Serena. Oh, 
god. Oh my god. Kyle, is that you? I I can't see you. They put bandages over my eyes. Is it is it that bad? It hurts so much, it must be. The nurses won't even tell me if I'm gonna make it. I I'm not gonna die. Am I, Kyle? I... I... <laughs> Do you fucking run out of the room? What a bitch. Kyle? Kyle? Kyle, where did you go? I... Won't you say anything, Kyle? Please. Don't leave me alone here. Kyle! <laughs> that sucks. Damn, and this should just die? That's fucked up. I thought I'd be prepared for what I would see, but I never was prepared for the possibility that she wouldn't make it. When I realized just how serious her condition was, I... I couldn't handle it. I was too scared to accept it. That was why I left her alone, because... I couldn't bring myself to say goodbye to her. She died the next day. I should have been by her side when she needed me the most, but I wasn't. I abandoned her, and for that I... I wouldn't blame her for hating me. I think I understand now. The reason you were created. Twisted as she may be, I think Dolores may have felt sorry for her. Maybe this is her way of punishing me on her behalf. For once, I can't argue with her. If I could go back and change things. If I could just have stayed by her side and held her hand as she died. I'd do it without a second thought. Nothing could ever make me regret more than what I did that day, how selfish I was being. I just hope she ended up in a better place than this. Serena, if you can hear me, I'm... I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry for everything. It's... gone? <laughs> so you really are capable of remorse. And here I thought you were too stupid to feel such things. But I hope you realize that Serena was only the first victim of your callousness. You still have one more sin to atone for, Kyle. Surely you haven't forgotten about that? You... You must be out of your mind if you really expect me to ask for your forgiveness. After everything you've put us through? Oh, please. Don't tell me you've never heard of karma before. You reap what you sow. What comes around goes around. But when you break a girl's heart and ruin her life, well, you deserve every bit of vengeance she throws at you. You killed people, Dolores! Nothing justifies that! Only after you killed me first! All I had left to live for was one of those simple childish dreams. And those monsters wouldn't even let me have that much. And you, even in your ignorance, you're just as guilty as they are. Maybe if you hadn't given a damn- Maybe if you had given a damn about anything besides your own issues, you could have said something. Done something. Then maybe me and my dream would still be alive. You know, I could say the exact same thing to you. 
Make no mistake, what happened to you was wrong. It was cruel, and you should have never had to go through it. But I wasn't the one who took your life. Neither was Neela, Maggie, or Brooke. That was your doing. You chose to die that night. You sold your flesh to a demon so you could take your petty revenge. Maybe we were the ones who killed your dream. But you were the one who put the last nail in its coffin. seriously think moralizing at me is going to do you any good? You've seen my power. In this world, I'm nothing short of a god. Hell, if I really wanted to, I could snap your neck with a wave of my hand or burn you alive from the inside out. I could even bring you back to life just to do it all over again. Then feed your mangled corpse to Moloch when I'm through with you. Then why haven't you? In fact, why keep me alive at all? If you're just so damn powerful, why not just kill me right now, huh? <laughs> because... I wanted you at least to know the whole truth. As much as I hate to say it for a while. For a while, you were the boy of my dreams, Kyle. I didn't expect your forgiveness. Not that I wanted it in the first place. I just hoped you would listen to me, that's all. No, that isn't all. I thought about killing you along with the others once you'd heard my story, but I could never bring myself to do it. The best way I can describe it is the smoldering remains of a dream that should have left my heart a long time ago. The hope that, maybe, before you left this place, I could at least know what it's like to dance with someone. What? <sighs> oh. Kyle, I just want to feel something other than hatred. Even if only for a moment. The love I could only dream of having when I was alive. I could even catch one tiny glimpse of it. Is... Is she actually asking me to... No, she can't possibly be serious. There's no way I'd ever do that of my own free will. If she's serious... She's even more unhinged than I thought. But if that's the case, who knows what she'll do if I say no? I came here to stop her, but... But what if I can't? If I don't give her what she wants, she'd have no reason to keep me alive. Shit. Shit! What the hell am I supposed to do? I ain't gonna dance with your ass! Bye! I think you already know my answer to that, Dolores. You're right. I figured you'd say no. It was a bit of a long shot, but... Uh, well, it was worth a try. What happened? Oh, okay. I... I can't move. She's got me trapped in some kind of magic circle. Yeah, I can see that. Tell me, Kyle. Has anyone ever told you that all your dreams could come true if you just believed in them? Because that's what I was told. All my fairy tales and books promised me a happy ending if I endured it all. But it's all one big lie, isn't it? Love, dreams, happy endings? They're only for people like you, aren't they? People who did nothing to deserve it except to be normal, right? That's why you ignored me. That's why you turned your back on Serena. That's why I can never be happy in this godforsaken world. I 
I can never be wanted. I can never be loved. Because who the hell would ever love a broken, disgusting cripple like me, huh? Huh? Your mother did. You... You keep my mother out of this. This has nothing to do with her. And even if it did, she's dead. And any love she could have given me died along with her. You're wrong, Dolores. She may be dead, but your mother is here as much as you or me. Shut up! If this is your idea of a bluff, Kyle, you'll have to come up with a better one than that. I'm the one who rules this world. No one gets in or gets out without going through me first. You must be dumber than I thought if you expect me to believe- I don't expect you to believe anything. So I'm gonna show you myself. Seriously? Were you gonna try and give me a paper cut or something? Oh, I get it. You must have brought some kind of spell of your own to try and stop me. Too bad it won't work. Not when I've already made all the magic useless against me. Don't get ahead of yourself. If I had magic, don't you think I would have tried using it by now? Ever since you made your deal with Moloch, you've been so focused on your hatred and revenge that you never even noticed your own mother trying to stop you. The only reason you can't see her is because you've shut her out entirely. And these... These are the words she gave me. The words she wanted you to hear before you hurt anyone else. No. You're lying. There's no way she could... You're lying! My darling totter, my morning star, my anything, my everything is what you are. Your gentle nature, your dreamer soul. Where is it now that the light that grief stole? You, you're, you're trying to trick me, trying to let my guard down, but I won't fall for it, I'll... You were once so good, so pure, so kind before this malice poisoned your mind. Your dreams of love turned to dreams of hate, your innocent held by ransom, by suffering so great. Shut up! Oh, I was like, what are we looking at? You know nothing. Nothing! No, oh, I have to keep going. This is the only way. Eleanor, please. I need your strength. I know, my love, that I may be to blame for leaving you behind. This has been my greatest shame. Perhaps... I wonder if I could have been there. Could I have taken your sorrows as mine to bear? Heil. Heil. I'll kill you. I'll kill you, Kyle Mason. Mark my words. I will kill you. I beg of you, daughter, don't let the dark win. Reclaim your light and let the love back in. crying. Despite all this bloodshed, I love you no less, my blessed little blossom. My beautiful Dolores. Oh, my beautiful Dolores. This is the mom. Fuck. Dolores. She did a whole Yui around me. Mom, Mom, is, is that really you? I... Oh, Dolores, my sweet baby girl. It's... it's been so long. Why, why did you have to die? Why did you leave me alone when I needed you the most? I was... I was so lonely. I'm so, so sorry. I never meant to leave you so soon. I never meant for any of this to happen to you. I had tried. I had tried so hard to watch over you to keep you safe. But even with all of our family's power, I couldn't protect you from this fate. I'm 
Please, forgive me. I just, just wanted to fall in love, to be loved, but then everyone hunted broke all of them. I know, my daughter. I know what they did to you. You had a dream. Beautiful, beautiful dream, one that I prayed with all my heart might come true for you. But sometimes we allow our dreams to become nightmares to let resentment and disappointment take hold of our hearts. And when we allow ourselves to succumb to despair, sometimes we find ourselves doing the unthinkable. Dolores, in your heart, you know what you've done is wrong. Your anger, your pain, none of that can be denied. But turning those feelings into violence and revenge is never the answer. No matter how much blood you shed or how many lives you take, it will never fill the holes in your heart. It will never make that pain go away. I'm begging you, daughter. You must stop this madness. Let go of this mindless rage you hold before you lose yourself entirely. Spare this boy and end the cycle of suffering here. so badly. Someone, someone has to pay for it. Someone who else will pay? Who else will have to die before your thirst for vengeance has been satisfied? Will it end when all of your classmates have perished? Your whole school? Will you only find closure when the entire world has paid for the price? Has to pay the price, whoops. You have a choice, Dolores. You can either continue down this path of madness until everything good you once dreamed of has been destroyed. You could choose mercy. You could choose to forgive and allow others the chance to dream as you did, to love as you never could. You could choose to heal. And one day, you'll finally find redemption for the things you've done. I... I'm sorry. I'm so angry. I was... I'm so sorry. Dolores. It's all right. You've made the right choice. My sweet daughter, I was afraid I lost you for good. Kyle, what you've done is incredibly brave. Even with all my daughter had done to you and your loved ones, you risked your life to save her and prevent further destruction. Thank you. I'm forever in your debt. Eleanor, is... is it really over now? Yes. Soon you'll be returned to your own world unharmed. However, I must warn you. Although what you've experienced here may seem like an eternity, very little time has passed on the other side. If you were with the other girls when you were brought here, then... your awakening may not be a kind one. It's... it's alright. It might not be pleasant, but I'll manage somehow. But what about you two? What will you do now? I will use my power to help my daughter destroy this wicked world she's created. You have my word that no one else will fall victim to its evil. What happened after that, I'm not sure. But no matter what, I will stay by Dolores' side, helping her heal from the pain she's caused and endured. I see. Thank you, Eleanor, for helping me. For helping Dolores, too. Uh, Dolores, I hope you realize what this all means. You've been giving us you've been giving you've been given a second chance after doing something unforgivable. So don't you dare waste it. Tell me something I don't already know, why don't you? I chose this path. So naturally, I'm going to have to bear the consequences of that choice, even if I regret it. And don't worry, I'm not under any delusion that you'll even dream of forgiving me right now, so... Go home, Kyle. Do it before I change my mind about all of this. <laughs> what? Don't worry. All I'm doing is reopening the door between worlds. It won't hurt you. Goodbye, Kyle. Maybe if I ever see you again. I'll be able to give you the apology you deserve.
my... my head. It hurts. Everything hurts. I can feel something on my face. Carpet? Wet carpet. And it's quiet. Unnervingly so. Just how long have I been asleep? When I open my eyes, everything is a blur. All I can see are the faintest of colors. A brown smear I can only assume is furniture, patches of green rug, and red, red everywhere. Wait, red? Breaking news today, a local private school once again finds itself at the center of a violent crime. Earlier today, three bodies were found at the residence of Senator Edgar O'Keefe. The bodies were identified as that of the Senator's daughter, Brooke O'Keefe, as well as two of her classmates, Neela Devar and Margaret Pham. All three girls had attended St. Giles Academy and were reported to be attending a prom night after party at the Senator's home. In addition, a fourth body was found behind the St. Giles Gymnasium, later identified as Roth, Industries Harris Dolores Roth. And a fifth, Isabel Roth, was discovered during a search of the victim's manor. Mrs. Roth was Dolores' aunt and her legal guardian at the time of the murders. Authorities are baffled by the horrific and seemingly simultaneously slayings, which all contain elements of ritualistic murders, including dismemberment and sign of torture. Several individuals have been detained for questioning, including staff at the Roth household, Senator O'Keefe and his wife, as well as one survivor, Kyle Mason, a St. Giles senior who is currently receiving treatment for his injuries. What? K Kyle? You're... You're awake! Thank God, I... I was... I was worried you'd end up like... Like the others. Randy? Wait. What are you talking about? Kyle, I'm... I'm so sorry. Hmm. Excuse me. If, if I haven't pushed this up on you... Maybe this wouldn't have happened. Maybe, maybe Neela, Maggie, and Brooke, Dolores... Maybe they all would still be... He cried. Randy... Or Randy is what I was... Fuck it. Sorry about that. I, I didn't mean to start crying so hard. I, I just need to let your folks know you're awake. Just stay right here, okay? I'll be right back, I swear. Randy, Wade. Huh? What is it? Don't blame yourself for this. You didn't do anything wrong. All you did was be a good friend. Something like this, it's nothing anyone could have seen coming. It's not even anything that should have been possible. Huh? Wait, what do you mean by that? Nothing. It's nothing, Randy. Okay, if you say so. You went through something awful, so I won't pry, but... If you ever want to talk about it, I'm all ears. Same as always. Thanks, Randy. It means a lot to me. Maybe one day I'll tell him what really happened. Don't mention it. Now, hang tight for me, okay? There goes any hope I had of all of this being a bad dream. Neela, Maggie, Brooke, everyone? They really are gone, aren't they? I... I... It didn't take long for me to be discharged from the hospital. It was just as Eleanor said. I'd come back from hell unharmed. 
In fact, there was barely a scratch on me leading the police to put me at the top of their suspect list for a while. Of course, I didn't tell them the truth about Dolores and her magic. They would have made me even more suspicious, but the evidence was too contradictory. And I was eventually cleared. I wish I could say that was the end of that, but something like this... It stays with you. Possibly forever. I had to miss my graduation. Mom put her books on hiatus to take care of me. I've been to psychologists and tried medication, but those can only stop the nightmares from so much. The only thing that's keeping me sane some days is the hope that no one else will suffer like we did. You know, Dolores, it's taken me a full year to bring myself here. You know, I don't have a lot of forgiveness in my heart for you. In fact, I don't think I'll ever be able to forgive you. Not fully. What you took away from us can never be replaced. But even so, I... I hope you're a better person now. A, a happier person. I hope that you find your way somehow wherever you are. And as for me... I'll be here, in this world, trying to make the most of what you left me. It's been painful. Hell, it might always be. I don't even know if I'll ever bring myself to date again. But I can't let myself fall into despair. Not when I've seen what it does to someone. I'll live. I'll live this life the best that I can, and... Chase my own dreams. Enough for all of this. Well, all right. That was Prom Dreams of High School Stamuria. Can't wait for the sequel, Prom Dreams 2. Nice boat. This is a, really, it's a good game. It's a good game. It's, a, it's probably like a. a I, shit, I don't even know how to rate games because I never play horror games. But I really enjoyed it. I like the little. I like the story. I like the sudden Dolores Ho that was like surprise. I was in the story the whole time. Like fuck that. That was that was good. That was a good plot. That was a good twist. Sorry, I'm like starting to slur. I'm really tired. <laughs> I just wanted to finish the game. But I yeah I I would like. But yeah, I I really enjoyed this game. I mean, I hate it. I hate it because it scared me. And then I got used to it. And that was fine. That was good. That After I stopped being scared, that was good shit. I was like, alright. Now I don't have to look away every time I play this game. Um, but I enjoyed it. I don't know what to rate it. It's probably like... <sighs> I rate it 9 out of 10. Because there's always room for improvement for everything. Instead of this song, they should play. <laughs> they should play the song from school days because it pisses them off. This is the gameplay. I'm sorry. I'm so tired. God dang. Shout out to game dev. We're dealing with my shit. It was nice talking to you. I think this is the only GameQZ production that's made so far. But 
was a good story. It was a good storyline. I liked the characters. I would like to. I mean, if they made another game, I'd be like, yeah, I was like, yeah, play it, play it. Sometimes you play games and you're like, fuck this, never again in my life. But you know, this is good. It's good stuff. Ten out of ten. I'd, I'd be all up on that. And yo. Mom and mom. Yeah, I said that. Hey, mom? Yes, my dear. Do you... Do you think we'll ever... Move on one day? Dolores, you know as well as I do the nature of the pact we made. We not only sacrificed our bodies, but our humanity as well. Neither heaven nor hell would take us now. Then, what will become of us? Will we just wander for eternity? Perhaps. But it may not be as bad as you think. After all, you won't be alone on your journey. I'll be right by your side, always. Mom. Thank you, Mom. Even after all of this, I... That kind of sucks, though. Cause then I just it would be eternity if I ever. So that's it. So thanks you guys a lot. Um, good games. See you a good good night. I'm gonna sleep for 30 years. Awesome. So excited. <laughs>